This is the Foster 745 EF motorhome. Uh, it is uh, only available in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. New, but you can find them used in other places as well. This thing here is gonna cost 77,000 euros. It is 745 centimeters long, 235 wide. It's a height of 295 centimeters. This vehicle, uh, is I would say a very attractive, bright motorhome. Uh, but I'd have to say another thing about it. It was brought out as a cheaper brand of Euromobile or Euromobile uh, in uh, around 2013, I think it was, or 2012, something like that. And uh, at 75,000 or whatever it was, uh, it's no longer a cheap option. But isn't it nice and bright? Absolutely wonderful looking vehicle uh here we've got oh sorry we've got under here they've got this enormous wardrobe i opened it up here of course i could have opened it up down there as well and uh you've got all of that uh um space there on this side got storage there and we've got the boiler down below uh, I could have lifted it up from here just to make the point as well. Or oh, I mean, even better because it's it's brighter like that. You've got here, we can make a German layout by putting in a, a mattress there and a mattress here. There will be a plate somewhere to go across here to make an enormous bed. I bet it's in the garage. I haven't seen it. Uh, here we've got a room divider made of cloth. Very sensible, there's also a place to put it down there so it comes across like that. Very sensible way of doing things. In here, we've got this toilet and, uh, well it's a large toilet isn't it? It's got a sloping wall, which um, I think it's like that to give more space in the bed or is it more space for the uh, cloth curtain divider. That has been very well thought out shower could be better by having a proper domestic drainage and it, and it's only got one of these horrible small ones at that could do better on the shower mr foster uh here okay the living area is lovely and bright like everything else but of course this is partly to do with the uh lighting situation uh very large sink only two burners, I think that's enough, but just my opinion, how many times do, does one use three? Well, probably the reason we often don't use three is because, uh, because they're, too, they're too close together. Oh, that should come out, and that comes out. And this one here doesn't, oh, no, sorry, that doesn't come out at all. Sorry, I, put, I was pulling the wrong thing. That thing there, right, that's just the, that's just the divider. And down here as well, got a bit of space down there. Now, face-to-face uh, -face, uh, seating, large table here, in between the two. Now, uh, what, uh, what happens uh, if you want to move the vehicle? Notice you've got the seat belt here, and what we've got here is a means of raising the uh, uh, the the uh, the chair up here, so back comes here. Unfortunately, two two hands for it, but the seat will actually, so to speak, turn round. So and this comes up, and that 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 uh, goes down, and that makes a forward facing seat. I'm sorry, that was a bad explanation. You'll just have to believe me that that makes a forward facing seat. For when you the vehicle is in motion i think that is a requirement in some jurisdictions uh, without the bed up front look at all this space it gives you in this wonderful clearance uh, up there we've got a truma aventa air conditioning system here we've got a fridge uh, with uh, the below we've got a bottle thing and there we've got a Freezer compartment. There is the uh, 
the Truma iNet. There we've got the uh, um, the 12 volts by electric supply and also you can see what's going on with your water and all the rest of it. Very nice, huh? Lots of storage space now. I like the way it's been profiled. I would have to say though, that when you open this, things are just going to drop out. <laughs> Particularly if it, the vehicle has been in motion. Uh, right, Fiat uh, Ducato six-speed uh, manual gearbox. At the, above this, you have got these bits, a uh, bit of space there to keep things. You don't know where to put. Uh, And the lights have just gone out. The reason the lights have gone out is because they've uh, put them out, and so uh, which was a pity as I was in, in inside the vehicle at the time trying to actually demonstrate. But I can actually have a walk around and uh, show what else is here. I like the new Fiat logo, which was introduced in 2022. I think that looks quite like the new Ford one as well. I think it looks quite 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 cool, in my opinion. I'm not that I know anything about design. Uh, here, um, four windows, but uh, unfortunately, the windows aren't particularly good quality. Yeah, so I could force that with my finger. Well, not, my, not just my finger, but I'd need my whole hand, but I could force it. And uh, here, down here, we've got there's the gas. That's where you put your gas canisters. To see if you can get a, a refillable solution. It's far, it's far better. There is, that's where the toilet cassette goes. That is a refillable solution. You've got to refill it up yourself. And here we've got the uh, garage. It's a nice big garage. Plenty of space in there. It'll take 150 kilos of weight. And so you can easily get half a dozen, well, I'm exaggerating now. But you get, I should imagine you get four bicycles in, in there. Good, so that is the Foster. It is actually a pity that this vehicle is uh, only available though, on the German speaking market. French and uh, Italian areas of Switzerland, of course, uh, available as well. So, uh, thanks very much for being here and watching this with me. I upload every day at 21.15. My channel is the largest channel on van life on YouTube and you've got a larger selection of vehicles or the largest selection of vehicles on this site. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, motorhomes and camper vans, then this is the place to be. Uh, so uh, all the best from me in Germany.